Hi, this is Pavel, and this is part 5 of the C Sharp poker game. And in this uh, video, I'm gonna test whether the, the deck of cards is set up correctly, whether the cards are being dealt correctly, and uh, the hand of the player and the computer are being displayed correctly. So uh, let's start with that. So I go to my main, mef main method and uh, I'll do console. And I will change first the window size of the console. That is a set windows, uh, not position, but window size. And I'm gonna change it to 50, 65 and 40. I already tested it, so this was my size. You may have a little different one. Just play with the numbers a little. This will display the cards neatly. The window won't be too huge. Like if I open it before, it was all on the screen. This will be more kind of... Uh, condensed so uh, I'm gonna now remove remove scroll bars by setting the buffer um, what we are gonna be sending to the is the to the actual window size now these are not really necessary steps like uh, the game would still function, but uh, it will be more presentable. So I do the console that buffer width, and it's gonna be the 65. And of course, the console that buffer height is gonna be the 40. So there won't be any scroll bars. If I if I didn't change it, if the the buffer was bigger, there would be scroll bars on the window, um, and there, there's really no, no, nothing to scroll for. We just display the cards and who won. That's it. We don't. It's not a like a continued, continuous continuous uh, no, text or anything like that. Again, this is just for the presentation purposes. So, and we can do console the title. So we display a title in our console, and it will say poker game. All right. So now let's do the deal cards. So we will go deal cards equals new deal cards. We don't need to uh, instantiate any other classes simply because the deal cards inherits from deck of cards. And deck of cards inherits from card. And draw cards is static, so we can just call it uh, anytime without instantiating the, uh, the object. So all we need is to instantiate deal of cards to deal cards and by default deal cards has all the progression the, that needs to be done in order to play the game. So we set up the deck, we get the hand, we sort the cards, display the cards and evaluate the hand all in one there, uh, one of these classes calling appropriate functions and methods. Okay, so um, I will also do a boolean uh, quit just so we can play more games we will simply ask at the end of each game whether the player wants to play more so while not quit we will deal we will call the main method basically that runs the whole that's like the game engine that runs the whole thing we will call the deal method so that will run and it will go through all these uh, display, uh, like uh, again, set up the deck, shuffle it, display the cards, and all that. So uh, all we have to do here is uh, uh, do a character for selection, that which is gonna hold the user input, whether yes or no, play play the game, play another game or not. So uh, selection equals empty, and while our selection uh, let's just equals to uh, y and the selection does not equal to wait hold on a second what did I just do uh, selection equals y and selection uh, does not equal equals the n for no 
basically why for yes uh, play more and no don't play more um, then uh, we can run the game uh, because we don't want any other input we don't want like a or c or whatever as an input to play the game we just want yes y or no and that's all so we are only capturing those two so as long as that is uh, that is uh, in check so we will right line and just ask play again y and no all right so uh, remember we are this is all this is the the game itself all we're doing now is simply checking if the uh, uh, user wants to play another game so it's uh, our selection now equals to convert uh, convert to character and we will do console dot read line and we'll convert it to upper view. Remember, we are checking capital Y and capital N. So to upper. So that's our selection. And if uh, selection equals uh, Y, then quit equals false. Else if selection that uh, equals to uh, let's say n then uh, quit equals true player doesn't want to play anymore else that's an invalid selection we only again capturing y or n so console dot right line invalid selection try again there you go and uh, Okay, so let's see what we get when we run the, this is, again, this is really, we don't need it right now, but this is the line that tests the display. And I did not get anything at all. I got the, well, I got the window and it's formatted. You can see the size is different. So something went wrong. Well, so let me investigate because uh, why nothing has been been drawn so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna place a debug nothing's displaying so I'll just start over here and when I run the program so here I am in my window and uh, I'm gonna run the debug line by line man oh, nothing's happening all right let me try again So if I run it, what the? It's not working for some reason. Okay, let's try again. Uh, oh, here it is. So we go line by line. Let's see what we're gonna get. So it seems to be drawing the card, as you can see. When I run it, uh, yeah, it, it draws the card. And it displays it and it goes to the next one. Yeah, you can see that. And uh, so it does display it and it goes to the, to the next cards. in a row so uh, not sure what exactly is wrong with the when I run the whole thing and it does not display for some reason it's all black I'm not sure if that's correct so uh, all right let's have a closer look what's happening there so since it is actually uh, displaying so it doesn't display anything here but you could, you could see before that it did. Oh, wait a minute. Now it did. It actually displayed them after I press spacebar. Oh, what is going on? 
Oh, jeez. I have a console read key, so I have to actually press a key to, to move. Like, if I run it now, basically waiting for a key right here. So when I, when I do it, then the program actually, the rest of it runs. I forgot one stupid line that I forgot to move. This is supposed to be all the way at the end. Oh, jeez. Things like this always get you. So if I run it now, it should run fine. And here it is, the window size is correct. Here's 10 cards, player's hand. Oh, I forgot to, the, it should say computer hand, and obviously this should be moved down when it says ask play again. So, but uh, we got the uh, the drawing engine actually displaying five cards uh, for a player and for the computer. So that's that seems to be working okay. So, uh... Alright, so that's enough for this video. Uh, we got the drawing. I just have to make a uh, you know few uh, my minor adjustments. Uh, well, you know what? Let me just go and do the the text. I just correct it now. Why not? So when I go to deal cards to display cards, uh, what is it over here? What, over here it says player hand. We also want to display computer hand. So over here above the loop that uh, displays the computer's cards we will do computer computer's hand so if I run it now and uh, it, it's age well yeah, it's all over the place player's hand is correct computer hand is not so uh, Let me see. Again, let me try to see what it, what it is. So it tries to write it here, uh, but it's not. You know what? I think it might be the. Uh, it started Y fifteen. That should be all right. And X at zero. But this should be probably one less because. When we started, uh, we want to write it a line above, not in it. Ah, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Remember, we started 15, but that's basically to display the cards. We wanted one space above it to display computer's hand. And when it says play again, uh, I'll just deal with it later. Uh, because uh, after we evaluate the hand, we will also display uh, com like something like player's hand is... Like in this case, it would be three, seven, eight, nine, like nothing. The player has nothing. And computer has two kings, so it has a pair. So it would say player has hand, nothing, computer's hand, one pair, uh, computer wins. And then it would say play again under that. So I'll, I'll deal with this line overlapping in the cards uh, later when we actually display the result of the game as well. Okay, so that's our uh, drawing, uh, uh, displaying the cards, and in next video we will evaluate the actual hand and determine the winner. So stick around, and I'll see you next time. Take care.